In this video, you will learn how to generate this multiple line graph in Microsoft Excel. I have four series of data. First one shows the days which are plotted on x-axis and other three are the effect of different temperature on emulsion size. There are three temperatures which are 55 degree centigrade, 25 degree centigrade and 4 degree centigrade. And from here you can see here that the red line shows the effect of 55 degree centigrade the second one shows 25 degree centigrade and third one indicates the effect of 4 degree centigrade on emergent size so let's learn how to generate this graph in microsoft excel firstly select this data go to this insert tab and here you will find the option of line graph click on it and select either with marker or without marker here you can see if you select this one this will insert a line graph without marker i will choose a line graph with marker so i will select this one now place it here Now you can see here I want to insert the these three series on Y axis but Excel has also plotted these days on X axis because it recognizes it as a Y axis value. So firstly I will remove it, select this one and press backscape. Secondly you can see here that here the X axis 1, 2, 3, 4 values are shown and i want to plot these days on this x-axis so we will learn these techniques later on firstly i will select these grid lines and press backscape to remove these secondly go to this plus sign and i will insert the axis title so i will check this option next select this title put equal sign and select this cell and if uh, you want to manually edit this you can also do that then press enter go to home bold black color and 20 cell i will reduce its size to 18 next select this axis put equal sign in formula bar and sorry just write temperature and press enter button bold and 12 black color click on format painter to copy this format and click here again use format painter option to click these legends now click on this put equal sign and it indicates the days so i will select this cell and press enter now you can see here i will uh, remove these extra space so the line graph become more prominent so click on this y axis labels right click go to format axis and here i will choose minimum value as 50 Uh, I will change it to 100 I think now you can see here that the minimum value is now 100 and maximum value is 240 now I will uh, scroll down and here you will find the option of tick marks and I want to insert tick marks on outside go to fill and line option 
and black color line is already selected so i will change its width to 1.5 and similarly select this one and line color black with 1.5 pt width and if you want to insert tick marks go to this axis option and in tick marks you can insert tick marks on outside Next select this label and change their font size to 12, change their color to black, copy this format and click here. Now I will format these lines, firstly select this one, right click, go to format data series and go to fill and line option. Here you will find the two options, first one is line and other one is marker. We will learn both one by one. Firstly, I will change the line color to green and go to marker option. And here you will find the option of marker option. Go to built in and select any option. Change your font size to seven. Scroll down. You can select fill color and border. I will choose the same color as green and in border green. Next select other line. Go to build in option and select the marker this one with seven size change the fill solid fill red color and solid line around border with red color now go to line option and change your color to red as we selected for markers similarly select third one change their color to per to this one which is purple and in marker option you can select marker using build in option you can change their color to seven and in fill option you can also select the same purple color and in border same purple color. So you can see here we have completed the formatting of this graph and if you want to move this legend select right click go to format legend option and you can change its direction using this option. So that, that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Goodbye.